Henry's hats. Today, Mama has surprised me. She says we are going on an adventure, far away from the lights and sounds of the city. So I have brought my own lights and sounds. We have come to see my grandpapa, who I call Papa for short. I haven't seen him since I was small. I study Papa carefully and think about what Mama has told me. She told me three things about Papa. He is old, he is quiet, he is a little bit shy. Papa's dog George is not one bit old or quiet, and he is especially not shy. He takes my hat and runs. I run fast, but George runs faster, past the clock and up the stairs. right to an old and dusty trunk. I feel a patter in my chest and a twinkle in my toes. I wonder what the trunk is hiding. It isn't treasure or gold, but lots and lots of hats. Ready, set, go. I put on a helmet and imagine I'm in the Grand Prix, speeding my way to the finish line. With the change of hat, I'm sailing into the sunset. My first mate at the prow. Ahoy! But there is still more adventures to be had. I explore the deep ocean and escape with all my toes. Hello, Mr. Shark. I can fly. I soar beside the clouds through dangerous skies. Watch out, George. I train the world's most daring animal balancing act. Ta-da! Henry? First, I worry Papa might be angry. Instead, he takes the ringmaster hat and puts it on his head. He pulls back the curtain and reveals that he has gone on many adventures. Papa tells me that he has been a race car driver, a ship's captain, and a scuba diver. And he once worked in a circus long, long ago. I realize now that we are not so different, Papa and I, except most of his adventures are behind him and mine are still ahead. Papa gives me a present and tells me there's one adventure he still dreams about. Follow me, Henry. Papa never made it to the moon. But he says, maybe that can be my adventure. Someday, I hope to be like Papa, with a trunk full of hats and a life full of adventure. <laughs>